Hello, I'm Tim Chamberlain. I'm project manager, builder for the site here on Clifford. Uh, I just want to spend some time to give you an idea of what we're going to do here, how we're going to renovate it, some processes, time frames, and our overall general project description. Um, we'll start here in the front. As you can see, we have started some of the demo. Uh, originally, we had a, a covered porch here, concrete. Uh, just to go back a little, this house was built in the 40s, so we're, we're looking at about an 80 year old row house, 50s, 40s, 50s. Um, so the idea here is we're gonna bump out eight feet of this front here, eight feet width, three feet depth. Um, we're going to have some floor to ceiling, glass on both levels. This is a two level addition, uh, along with your own separate private metal porch stair covered also. Uh, so we're going to change the whole elevation facade of the front, bring it to the modern 2025, 2030 look. Uh, we're going to also wrap the side here with, with a different trim or facade piece here just to continue the new elevation from the side, from the front to the side. Uh, let's go in. We'll go in. Of course, we're going to get you some good landscaping here. Landscaping nicely. Um, another feature here from the basement, from the basement level, you'll be able to, there'll be windows there, so you'll be able to see glass at that level. So it'll give you the look of glass on three levels all the way up. It's windows and glass. All right. Nice and permitted up. As always, need to be permitted up. Don't start a project without it. So we started the demo, interior demo also. Uh, we got it down to the bones. We've inspected it. Uh, the existing framing is great. However, there, there are some repairs uh, subfloor repairs, um, you know, your interior wall stripping or drywall, we're going to replace those, replace some of the wood. Uh, so we have it here. So what we're going to ha have here is an open space here. We're going to take this, this wall down and this section will represent living room, dining room combination. Kitchen, we have a kitchen starting in this section this whole wall here we're going to like we're just going to push it push it down so you're going to have an open space from the front door we're going 20 feet back 20 foot addition so this whole rear wall here will be gone and your kitchen your new kitchen will extend six feet into the new addition so imagine all of this open 20 feet deep more living space more family space more kitchen space. All right, guys, let's go down to the cellar basement level. And here we have it. This is reminder, this is a renovation, not a new construction. So you will see some older material, older construction, very solid. As you can see the existing concrete block foundation. Uh, what we have done is we waterproofed here, if you can kind of see this black membrane. It's a membrane that stops all moisture behind here and sends it down to a gravel pit and it travels all the way. Any moisture that would accumulate travels all the way around here to the sump pump. And then from there, sump pump pumps out any water. So you will never have any water or moisture issues at this level. Uh, we, of course, we're going to redo, upgrade the water heater with a tankless water heater. Uh, your existing plumbing will all be removed. The next time you see it, you're going to see trenches in this floor here where we replace the ground plumbing. We're going to create new ground, ground plumbing over here and stacks, stack going up here to, to service the new primary master primary bathroom and we'll have another stack here to service the new hallway bath um, and that's about it here oh we have a full bath here 
Now on this level, we are not bumping out. At the ground level, no bump out, but we are adding the full bath. All right, follow me up to the second level. We will be replacing the steps. These steps here, we won't be coming up this way, we'll go straight up this way. So we've demoed the second level. This is the only bath, full bath. This is what's left of it. We're relocating this bath right here. And this will be the middle bedroom. And again, we're removing this full rear wall and going back 20 feet, which is gonna be primarily your bedroom, the primary bedroom and bathroom. Master there. And you still have a semi, another large size bedroom, which I'm calling the secondary primary, because <laughs> you will have access directly to the bath from here. A uh, full closet here. And remember, we have this addition going out right here, from here all the way to here. All right, guys, we've uh, went through all three levels. A uh, general description of the project uh, timeline. Well, we didn't go over timeline. We'll get to that later on the next one. However, we got a general sense of what the project looks like. Square footage, bedroom, bathrooms, locations of your family room, your kitchen, your bedrooms, and uh, general, uh, general how the project will go and what to expect in the coming weeks. Uh, I'll see you on the next one. I uh, look forward to it.